Hey guys, Robert Plank here, and today we're going to be talking about how to display the current date on our WordPress blog post. It's pretty easy. Um, we just need to use the PHP shortcodes plugin and use one simple PHP statement. It's going to look kind of scary at first, but you just do it once and it will be there forever. So let's go to the WordPress dashboard. We're going to go first to plugins add new in the WordPress dashboard and we're going to search for the PHP shortcodes plugin so let's just PHP and then shortcode is one word and this will allow us to add any kind of you know nerdy programming code to uh, the inside of our blog post so here we go PHP shortcode plugin right here and uh, what's going to happen is you can just add in these little tags like PHP or even better echo that actually this is what we'll use we use the echo tags and in between here put in uh, one little simple thing so first of all we're going to have the PHP shortcode plugin and then also go to php.net slash date that's php.net slash d-a-t-e and um, this pretty much allows us to list the date in any way we want. Like we can list the, uh, like you can say Sunday, you can say January, you can say the day of the week. Um, but but first of all, let's just worry about putting this PHP programming code on our blog. So PHP short code plugin, install now, and let's just install this onto our WordPress blog. It's on there. Click activate plugin. And now we can, um, you know, put the current date and time onto any post. So if you have like a welcome page or a sticky post, whatever you have, now we have the ability to put the uh, the date on there. So we're gonna we have the plugin activated. I'm going to go and edit my posts and just edit, you know, the top one, just so you can see how we do this. So the very top post right here, going to edit that. And here we go. Here is my whole post. And very simple, I'm just going to go here and put in this echo. So in hard brackets, the word echo, and then the word date, then left parentheses, then a double quotation mark, uppercase F, space, lowercase d, comma, another space, uppercase Y, for, uh, quotation, right parentheses, uh, semicolon, and then another slash echo. So it looked kind of scary, but it was just these echo hard brackets then the word date and then inside of these parentheses just quotations and f d comma y and that will just display um the date in a you know a simple kind of fashion and this is set up in a way that we can make the date be anything you want we can add the current time we can add the day of the week all that cool stuff so let's go and check out the blog post again and here we go here is the current date and if you don't like the way it is we can change it so if you don't like that it does the uh, the day of the month as a 06 well let's go over one more time to php.net forward slash date and basically here's the thing as you go to this table here and if you see a, a text representation of the date that you like then you can use that so we did uppercase F lowercase d so first of all we said uppercase f which was the name of the month then we said lowercase d which was the day of the month but it went from 0 1 to 31 not just plain old 1 to 31 so we might want to make this instead of uppercase f lowercase d uppercase f lowercase j if that makes sense so basically go to php.net forward slash date and on the right side pick out the uh, the representation you like and then just use this letter so let's try replacing the D where it says 01 with a J so we can go back here and we can say date F J Y and we can even do cool stuff like say today's date is and have the date just like that so let's click update and let's see what happens when we change the inside of the echo and the date from F D Y to F J Y go back and refresh and here we go today's date is January 6th 2011 and so if you don't know what to do just install the PHP short code plugin and then have this echo date F J Y and we can do this as many times as we want we can say things like today's date is this day dot 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 
that's a Saturday. But it might not be Saturday. So what we will do is go back here and find this. We want to have a, a lowercase l. And we'll just go here and say, instead of Saturday, say in hard brackets, echo, days, parentheses, quotation mark, lowercase l. Let me make this so you can see it. Lowercase l, quotation mark, parentheses, semicolon, echo. And let's save that and see how that looks. Refresh. And here we go. Today's date is this day. That's a Thursday. So that is how you can display the current date on your blog posts uh, on any page, uh, what have you. You can even add the time. So we just real quick as, a, as one final afterthought here, we can also add the time and find the time in this cool little table. Here we go. So we're looking at, so this first part here is the uh, day, week, month, year, but down at the bottom there's the time, right? So we can have the, uh, let's see, the 12 hour format. So for example, like six, if the time was 6.32 p.m., this would be the six, right? So you would have G colon for the six colon 32. So G colon, you want to have the number, minutes, so G colon I and then a m r p m. Well, first let's worry about g colon i, right? So let's just say over here, today's date, and the current time is, and then echo we say date g colon i, and let's see how that looks for us. Let's click update, and let's go back to the blog post here. Here we go. The current time is, for some reason, not in my time zone. It says it's 515. Okay, I think this might be in GMT actually. So that's cool. So let's uh, have G. So we have the uh, the hour and the minute, but we can also add an AM or PM. And here we go. Let's just find it. We can have uppercase or lowercase. Let's make it uppercase. We're looking for an uppercase A. So we go back to this post, find the part where we say the current time, and we have G colon I, so like 6 colon 32, and then add the A for like PM. Let's go and click update. And let's see how this looks. Yep, this is definitely uh, in GMT time, 5.16 a.m. GMT. And I'm not sure why uh, it's giving us that in GMT. Let me check my log settings. OK, so it's giving, yeah, for some reason, even though my settings are set to this time zone, um, it's ignoring that. So just to be real quick, so if you want to adjust this based on your own time zone, we would have to uh, do one final bit of nerd trickery, which is to subtract the GMT time down to R10. Now, I'm on the East Coast, so it's going to be eight hours behind, right? So I'm just going to go uh, to this date right here, or let's do the time first. Okay, the time, so we have these quotations, comma, time, uh, parentheses, minus 60 seconds, times 60 minutes, times eight. And I'm gonna put the, this code right into the, uh, the description below this video, just so you can see, uh, you can just copy and paste. So let me refresh here, and so now this is my time zone, okay? And then just to make sure that the date is that way as well, we're gonna do the same thing. So date, FJY, comma, time, both parentheses, minus 60 seconds, times 60 minutes, times eight. So this just subtracts eight hours from the uh, current time. So here we go now, it is actually, the date is for me, in my time zone and the time it is for me in my time zone and if you were on the east coast you'd only be subtracting five hours if you were in central time you'd be subtracting six hours i think um so uh so there you go and i again i will put this exact code below this video so we pretty much install the php shortcode plugin and then place this bit of text um, anywhere in your post where you want to display the current date so this has been robert plank showing you how to display the current time and date in your wordpress blog thank you